Hello, my beautiful sweets. Sweet Sadie J coming back at you. Welcome back to my channel, Sweet Sadie J TV. Thank you all so very, very much for all the love and support you show my channel. Today, I wanted to share half of my road trip to the Dollar Tree, my unplanned road trip to the Dollar Tree. But today, most of this stuff, not all of it, but most of it is right here from my local um, Dollar Tree on Raleigh Road in Henderson, North Carolina. That was the first stop I went to. And I found so much stuff there. Well, I found enough stuff there that I started not to go any further. But y'all know, y'all know, Dollar Tree haulers, we're addicts. We have to go. We have to look for stuff. So anywho, I digress. Let me jump into this all real quick. I hope everyone's having a wonderful day, afternoon, evening, whatever time you're watching this channel. I hope you guys are staying safe and cool. Okay, so at my local Dollar Tree, I found this new Thera Plus air activated heat wrap. And it's like a soothing, it says soothing heat for fast relief of minor aches and pains. Y'all know with all the... The pads that they have out there to put on your back your shoulders wherever but this one was just a little bit different because it said um, air activated so it's an air activated um, yeah y'all know <laughs> it's air activated and I was like very very interested when I saw that and it said air activated I was like really what is that supposed to mean so there, you, oops, so there you have it, where it says air activated, and it looks like this, and they show him putting it on his wrist, on his um, shoulders, back, wherever you want. So I thought I would give one a try, and it just says Thera Plus, and it is not a Greenbrier product. It says it's uh, made in China. So yeah, I grabbed one of those, because I was like, oh, that's interesting, and I want to try it. I will try it. And then I found some other stuff. I'm trying to get everything from the same store. I, I can't remember. I did find one of these floral garden bouquets. Y'all know I don't do no no um, order. This is just random. Grab and show. Grab and show. So this is the bouquet. And it has the pine cone the pumpkin and the little seeds and I just thought that was so pretty and the sunflower and I'm pretty pretty sure you guys that I have this in my fall stash so I won't be shocked if I find more but I just thought it was so pretty I actually wanted two but I don't they only have one at that particular store so it's just called uh, let's see what that says camera camera come on camera this just says bouquet right yeah so it's a floral bouquet and I just thought it was so pretty so I got that one to add to how many have I bought already I don't even want to know I said I wasn't gonna do it but I always say I'm not gonna do it but I always do it but I always say I'm not gonna do it anyway I digress <laughs> so I found another sure fresh item that I thought was so cool and I'm not really sure which store I found this at it might have been my local one because the bottom was taped and y'all know I told you before in my local Dollar Tree they tape these so the people don't switch them out okay but this one is really cute this is a sure fresh small round container and lid and it has an ice pack in it I opened this and examined it, y'all, but I'm not really sure how this is supposed to work. But it looks like this, okay? It looks like this. Very, very cute. And you know, me and this green, mint green or blue. And then you open it, and it has this in it. Now, there's the little ice pack. And you can see the liquid in there. I don't know if you guys can see that liquid in there. So this is what it looks like inside, but it has the little thing in here to hold that up. Now, once you take that out and you put that ice pack in there, do you put your food down and the ice pack on it? Or do you put the ice pack because it's not really going all the way down into the container and I don't want to force it. 
So yeah, I'm gonna have to read the instructions a little bit better just to see how it's supposed to actually work with that ice pack in there. But yeah, I wanted, I didn't care for a dollar. I was like, that is so cool. When I take those road trips back and forth down to Raleigh, I like to pack me a bag of stuff to go and this would really be convenient, you know, with the ice in it, even though I do have a cooler bag. But I just thought for a dollar, yeah, I'm gonna get it. They added in um, blue, mint green, and pink. And I got, again, don't know why, I got the mint green, so yeah. That's what it looks like. Let's see if we can get that to focus. So that's what that looks like. Okay. And then the next item I found was one of these little incense trays where you stick the incense. Yeah, it's an incense holder. And I was kind of hypothetically kind of hoping that my citronella sticks would be able to fit in there but I pretty much knew all along that they wouldn't because I examined that opening in the store and I was like well you know if I can't use it for that I'm sure I can find something else but before I even had a chance to try it myself somebody wrote back on my <laughs> on my um description box saying no they don't fit <laughs> I was like, oh my God, could you let me at least try? But I had a feeling that they wouldn't. So I bought two because I found the black one with the Buddha head on another store. But I really like these. They're so cute. You can always use them for something else. They're just very, very pretty. You can use them for a trinket tray, you know, so it definitely won't go to waste. So yeah, I'm keeping it. And then I was so, so surprised when I found Bumblebee, what is it called? The satin ribbon? And y'all know, I've been planning to make a bee reef that should have been on my door in springtime. But I have all this stuff sitting over here and I just have not had the time to get to it. But I'm so happy that it worked out that way because now I can really, really make a bumblebee reef because the mesh tape that I was using wasn't exactly bumblebee mesh um, colors. It was rainbow colors that I had gotten on clearance from roses, but I was determined to use that. But this is what it looks like, you guys. This is so freaking awesome. It says, let's see if we can read this. It says, happy, amazing, hold on, let me say. Okay, that's upside down. It says, brave, true, fearless, happy, amazing, brave, true, fearless, happy, amazing. So I just thought this was so cool. Come on, camera. Let's get you in here. And this is so nice. I was like, oh my God, I love it, I love it. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm hoping you guys can see that. And it is from Floral Gardens, satin ribbon, and it's nine feet. So, yeah, it's nine feet. And I don't know why my camera's acting up. So I got two of these, you guys. So I just thought they were so pretty and I'm hoping to be able to put them on my reef because yeah, I'll rock that bee um, reef right on through the fall. So I also found the beehive ones and these also floral gardens. Y'all know the usual is nine feet, 1.25 inches tight um, by 108 inches. But this is really, really cool. Really, really pretty. The beehive. And I got two of those. And just to make it authentic, I got one small, and this is nine feet too, and this is from Floral Gardens, but I don't know what gross grain ribbon means. I don't know what that means, because the rest of them just is satin finish, and this one says, um, gross grain ribbon, you crafty people, y'all know what it means, but I did get one in the black. So just to incorporate that black in there to bring out, you know, that bumblebee-ish. <laughs> The bumblebee-ish, so I did get that one, and it is nine feet, so I got that. So I'm really excited about trying to get to my reef finally, because what I have on my door has not been anything that I've really wanted. But anywho, I digress. Okay, then at my local um, Dollar Tree, I found these trinket trays, and I know I do not need them, y'all. I know. <sighs> But I couldn't help it. 
I found the white one and I found the orange one and I just had to have them y'all they're so cute look at them and they're the trinket trays they're taped with the tape over them right now but they are so darling and all they say is decor decor <laughs> so I got one of each of those cuz yeah I couldn't resist it and I had seen these before and I did not get them and I was thinking about how I make the I took that what was it the watermelon I um, drank with the watermelon pieces and I poured it into one of my ice cubes trays and I put it in the freezer and I just take those little cubes and put it in my drink and it really really tastes good or I just take a couple of cubes and put it in a cup and let them get like a little slushy and eat them from there but it was really really good which I thought was a great idea but this is from cooking concepts it's a 16 piece plastic ice cubes reusable store and freezer for any time use hand wash with soap and warm water now the first time I saw these you guys I was a little on the fence I was like why am I gonna do this why am I gonna put rubber rubber or fake ice cubes in my in my drink but I just looked at them today the day that I found these and this was the only one that I found and I just thought they were so cute they had all of my favorite colors in there that purple and that blue is giving me life and I was just like y'all know what I'm gonna get these and this is what it says let me see if we can see this focus 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 and it just says plastic ice cubes and they look like this and look at that aren't they gorgeous that lime green but that blue and that purple yeah so yeah I bought them for a dollar I just thought they were so adorable and I do plan on using them so I got so much stuff y'all ah! okay this next product is new and I really really probably will not use it because y'all know my skin is so sensitive on my face but I found this made for him and her so fresh so clean young cool now and it's just uh <laughs> it's an astringent it says dynamic drying lotion with calamine so fresh so clean young cool now i don't know what all that means but it looks like this and it was just a new product at the dollar tree so y'all know i had to get at least one but it is an astringent i cannot get this bottle to twist back around where y'all can see but it's got calamine lotion in it and it basically just says da -da 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 -da, apply to the affected area as often as necessary so yeah the ingredients is alcohol water glycerin and then uh, some stuff that I can't really pronounce but yeah this is a pretty box <laughs> it just says dynamic drying lotion with calamine the scoop so fresh so clean dynamic drying lotion with calamine is a fast acting effective treatment formulated with calamine and other quick drying ingredients this product can help shrink pores virtually overnight while you sleep while other treatments can irritate and dry delicate or sensitive skin this product is safe and effective for all skin types okay and it's distributed by global beauty wow out of new york new york so okay all right now i see it okay <laughs> i'm still scared <laughs> i'm still scared <laughs> and the next couple of items were some more hot wheels and my girl donna don't be mad i just have i just lack self-control girl but i told her from the get-go she didn't have to do that for me she's so sweet when i mention something she wants to go out and see if she can find it so she can send it to me and i truly truly appreciate it but i told her every time she does that i go right out and i find it in one of my stores which is exactly what i did the hot wheel turtles this is the turtle shell or turtle shell hot wheel this is new for 2021 this is the one that i was telling you guys about that i want i got to have and there's a great story behind this turtle okay i mean it's a really really cute cute um 
turtle car, but you can see the different color wheels. Sorry, y'all, I broke that nail. The different color wheels on the front and the back, and the story behind this is called Tortoise Shell. Hold on, let me get these glasses on. It's called Tortoise Shell. Born 2020 in El Segundo, California. The designer is Hot Wheels. This tortoise shell was inspired by a real tortoise named Helix Wheels. Helix was born without the use of his back legs and could not walk. Fitted with a small pair of wheels, he was faster than any tortoise around. A Helix Wheels Foundation was also created in his honor. So this is part of this, this is five of five of the street bees, creatures on wheels that are beasts on the street. I just thought the story was fantastic. I didn't even know all that until I got it and I read it and I was like, what? But as soon as I saw that turtle, I don't know what my attraction is with turtles, Cecil the turtle. I just want to call every turtle I see Cecil the turtle. But when I saw this on somebody, I don't know if it was on the website or someone else's channel. I can't remember. But when I saw it, yeah, I just had to have it. And I found it as soon as I went to the Wake Forest Dollar Tree. So that's where I got him. Okay. So I love him. And then I love the story behind it. And then this one just looks so cool to me in, in all this gold. And I just had, I had to have it. It's called Bot Wheels. It's part of the HW space. It's three of five and it looks like it's a robot. It turns into a robot. It's called a lunar loader, but the gold is what got me y'all. I'm gonna tell you the truth. That gold, all that gold, that's what got me. I know Pat, I'm gonna call you girl. I swear, I'm, I promise. This is highway space. Blast off in these land rockets without without of this world performance and that's what it says so that's what it looks like and i just was like okay yeah i'm gonna have this one so they had so many like i told y'all before when i go to this particular dollar tree they have so many hot wheels i would say that three quarters of one aisle is just it's just laced with hot wheels <clears throat> the tracks all different tracks the small ones the long ones it's overwhelming and every car that I see or move and see another one I want them all but y'all know we can't do that so yeah I limit myself I'm trying to have some self-control but yeah when I saw my turtle or torto <laughs> turtle shell yeah I had to have him and he's so cute I absolutely love him okay moving right along I went back to my local Dollar Tree. Like I said, most of this is from my local Dollar Tree. And I found the books that I actually found the first time when I went on the road trip and found my the Black Bee one and the, um, what do you call them, Crown Jewel ones. But I got frustrated because, like I said, the boxes kept falling. And when I went to my store, the boxes were doing the same thing. But I was more aware, so I was I was careful. Anywho, long story, <laughs> I did finally get my yellow one. Because y'all know I got the black one. And it just says the notebook. And I loved it. And I had this put to the side at the other store. But I just forgot them. Along with the doodle books, you know, or the doodle journals... I had sat those aside, but those books kept falling on me and I got frustrated and y'all know me. Yeah, I took off, but this is my Crown Jewels again and I just absolutely love the black one and the yellow one, but I wanted them both and when you open it up, it has the Busy Bee with the bee on it. Looks like that. So cute. And then over here on this side, you have the two pictures of the bees so cute y'all i love that i don't know what's causing me to be so in love with the bees but it is what it is okay and then this one was so gorgeous the black with the gold on top on the black and again crown jewels y'all all know it's a women-owned company but they are still out of greenbrier they still are a greenbrier product but i don't know how that works but i found this one and I just love it, absolutely love it. Now on this side, it has the gold etching, and on this side, it has the silver, and I was just, or white, I don't know, y'all know I'm colorblind, so it looks white to me. Yeah, it looks white. 
yeah i would say it's white you guys <laughs> but if you open it up it just comes like this and it has the pictures of the plants or the flowers or whatever they are they're just gorgeous I just love these and I use my journals y'all I really do I use all of my journals mostly for my um, YouTube videos but these are some journals that I will be writing in especially the um, the more inspirational ones yeah I will be writing in those because the journal that Shauna gave me for my birthday back in March I'm almost to the end of that one so okay so moving right along, the last items, almost the last items of this haul is the doodle journals that I found. Now they were different. They looked a lot different from some of the ones that I saw down in Wake Forest or yeah, down in Wake Forest because I had the flamingo, I had the panda, and I couldn't remember what the other ones was. But these were different decorations, which is fine with me. I didn't really care. But this one was kind of like the different color ones doodle journal again from crown jewels and look how big these books are y'all these are so cute crown jewels never tells you how many sheets they they put in but this is what they look like i think you can write on one side yeah so you get lined paper on one side where you can write on them but you still get the decorations inside and then this one you just you could just you know doodle do whatever you want or you can do it on this side too if you want to but they give you the opportunity to write on both sides of them if you want to because they're both really lined you just can't see it as much on this page as you can on this one so that one looks like that and I got it and I would love to put these in friend mail or giveaways or whatever so I got that one and this one is cute I would probably send this to my niece you know doodle journal journal with the unicorn the ice cream and the flowers and it says oh no <laughs> with the frowny face cupcakes lollipops yeah it's really cute I don't know why the bat is on there but it kind of like sticks out like a sore thumb but okay whatever <laughs> and then you open it up and it looks like it's a weird print in here I thought it was paw prints at first but that's what it looks like on the inside. Very, very cute. And of course, you know, one side is lined. You still get some decorations. So, Crown Jewels, woman owned. Love it, love it, love it. So I got that one. And then this one was really, really cute. Again, like I said, they weren't the, they didn't have the flamingos or the pandas like I had put aside at the other store, which was like no big deal to me. But this one, just kind of like a colorful, very pretty one and they're very nice size i mean yeah you can really get a lot of writing and stuff in here and you can write on both sides and again they just got like paw prints or rain prints or whatever y'all want to call that i don't know what that is but so that's what that one looks like very very nice and then i got this pink one kind of looks like i don't know watercolors or something but i thought it was really cute so it looks like that and again this one has dreamer inside and I like that I think that's why I ended up getting this one because you had the crown and the dreamer and the hearts on there and then you had the crown on that one so I was like yeah this is really really cute this is dream I'm a dreamer yeah so this is really really cute so I got four out of many there's no telling if I do go back on another road trip I've, and I see the pandas and the flamingos and stuff, I might just repurchase the, or purchase those too. But the last item that I found that I'm just kicking, I mean literally kicking, I put it on my community page. It's also on my Instagram page because I was just so floored. By the time I got home and powered down and realized I started going through some of the stuff that I had, hauled, that I had purchased, I just was like, what in the world was I thinking? I only got one, you guys. I could have at least gotten two, but I would have loved to have gotten one from mom. But I digress, as always. I can share this with her. You know, I can share this with my sisters, you know, but this is the soft soap, refreshing citrus hand soap, washes away bacteria, 
and it's like good for 800 plus dispenses refill for our non antibacterial pumps and it looks like this what now I know y'all see this floating around because I've seen everybody hauling it well I've seen a few people hauling it so far I think I saw Anna from only in my dreams um, the Oni from Thrifty Divas, but yeah, y'all, I only got one. I'm hoping they'll come to my store and I can find them at my store without having to go back on the road. But I do have to take my sister um, some pantry cleaning. I'm decluttering again. That's another video where you see I decluttered my pantry again and my refrigerator and my freezer. And I'm trying to do the, what is um, Beth on Frugal Mama in the Woods call it? pantry challenge I think Sarah on our tribe of many does it too where you just try to utilize all the stuff that you already have before you go back out and repurchase more stuff that's another video you guys will see so anyway I have to go to Raleigh to take my sister all the stuff that you know I won't eat before they expire so hopefully if I don't find it here in my local Dollar Trees I will find it back down in Raleigh or Wake Forest. But I just thought that was such a phenomenal, phenomenal buy for a dollar. A brand name. They had it sitting right next to the Dollar Tree big jug of soap that they always have. That I don't ever pay any attention to it. But yeah, they had it sitting right next to a whole display of those. And I double take again. I did a double take because I was like, what? <laughs> And this is like the lemon, I guess the lemon and lime. It doesn't really tell you what smell. I tried to smell it, but it actually has a seal on it, y'all. Now, I had tightened the knob before I left the store and put it in a bag by itself. I asked the cashier to put it in a bag by itself, but it actually has a seal on it. So, I don't want to open it yet until I'm ready to use it. But anyway, that is the end of my haul, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I hope you saw something that you might want to run out and get, and I hope you find it. Thank you, thank you so much for returning and supporting my channel please don't forget to hit that subscribe button it's free it doesn't cost anything and keep watching because i have some really really nice secret giveaways coming up soon i love you guys remember be kind to each other the world is big enough for us all love peace and happiness bye guys